Hello designers, welcome back once again in our today's video we'll be looking at a common Figma challenge that a lot of us face. Especially I face it a lot and I'm sure that a lot of UI designers and even graphic designers who use Figma face this a lot. And this is none other than converting images to vector. So if you ever needed to convert or vectorize icons, illustrations or images then you might have faced this challenge in Figma. Because the inbuilt uh, options in Figma are very limited or even close to a no. Uh, I'll show you a couple of ways that where you can do this in Figma uh, but I'll show the limitations that we face and I'll also show you a secret tool that I use uh, which is the best method that I have found so far. So let's jump onto Figma and see what are these methods and how I do it right. So here we are in Figma and in Figma there are typically two methods of doing it. The first one is a manual tracing where you use the pen option right here and start manually tracing out this one and as you know this is a very tedious job on doing it for illustrations. For simple logos and stuff it really works. It's pretty simple to trace it out and that's a really good method uh, but when it comes to illustrations and stuff it's really not effective when you have a lot of illustrations and there are a lot of uh, shapes inside this uh, it's not a very effective method of doing it so that leads us to the second method which is using plugins in Figma so there are third-party plugins so if I just go ahead and search uh, in the plugins let's search for trace image or image trace and you go to the plugins and you'll see there are a lot of plugins right so you can see a lot of plugins and there are a couple of free ones and there are paid ones as well it's a tedious job to uh, go ahead and try all so what I did is I tried all these plugins for you to show a sample of how it looks like so this is a sample image that we are going to use and um, let's go down and see the plugins right how to use these plugins are very simple all you have to do is just select the image go to the plugin and uh, search for a plugin so let's say image tracer I just click on this and it will basically recognize the image and it will uh, trace out the shapes in this and you have a, a couple of advanced options here the colors that they're using you can change these options so once it's traced just place the image and that will give you the vector on the screen in canvas right so let's Let's go ahead and see how the outputs of these plugins are right so these are the free plugins and you can see that this is from uh, trace images and you can see it's not very perfect right it has got a lot of crooked lines it's not really usable when you work on a professional setup and you want to deliver something to clients and stuff right so this is uh, from trace images and this is from quick tracing you can see a lot of black borders here the lines are a little more curved uh, compared to the previous one but still it's not a usable one right then we have trace image this one only gives output in black and white so it has done a good job here but again you can't color this right these are not shapes and it's very difficult uh, for a single color it's somewhat better but you can see that it lost a lot of details as well and then you have tracer so this is again a grayscale version of it there are a little more details but still not a very great job uh, you might think that free plugins so that is why it's not that great I went ahead and tried the paid plugins as well uh, so with the free trials itself so here we have image tracer the plugin that I just opened so here you can see that it has given the color it, the colors are not accurate and uh, it has got a lot of loss in the details as well so it's kind of okayish when compared to the free plugins that you saw uh, but still not a professional work I would say right and the next one we have is vectorizer so here you can see that the colors are somewhat better but still it lost a lot of details and it has got a lot of noise as well right so that is how it works in Figma and these are the options that you have the free and the paid ones that leads us to the secret weapon that I use uh, when it comes to such situations where I have to convert an image or an illustration into vector and for that I want to introduce you to Kittle which is a web based online tool. So this is Kittle it is a web based design tool and it has got a lot of design templates and a lot of things that you can use right. So you think of a design a template and they have got it right. So here we have all these design templates uh, but let's move on to the tutorial that we're working on which is vectorizer and if you move on to the tool sections you'll see that there are a lot of tools right. These are amazing tools that every designer would want to use it and here we're going to talk about AI vectorizer. So if you go into AI vectorizer, you can see that it's an AI based uh, vectorizer of image. So just click on vectorize your image and here we're going to upload the image that we saw on Figma, right? So here we have the image and uh, it's basically trying to recognize it. Either you can just go and remove the background or you just uh, choose the option. If you want a black and white, go for black and white, multicolor, go for that. Choose the number of colors that you want and just click on vectorize, right? So this will do the job. It is basically in the background using AI to vectorize this image and you you have the SVG ready here but now I'll just go ahead and download this and here you have it so all you got to do is just copy this image onto Figma so I'll just bring it onto Figma so now let's compare it with the paid plugins so I'll just zoom in here and as you can see uh, the details right so the curved edges and the details in the logo the, the mascot name that we have here is also preserved very well and the colors you can look at it right so those are very accurate uh, to the actual image and then you can just uh, go ahead and start changing these colors so you have the selected colors here 
and that's it right i can make changes to the colors and change the text colors here or remove the text and make any changes to the vector so that is how i use kittle's ai vectorizer and apart from this there are a lot of other ai tools and other templates that you can use so definitely check it out and don't forget to use the link in the description if you want to try kittle and also use the coupon code that we got from kittle they were kind to give us a 25 percent off on the first purchase so definitely use that if you want to try kittle and if you want to know more about this tool called kittle definitely let me know that as well so that i can make more tutorials on that so that being said as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one